What's up everybody, I'm Rings. Welcome to Quick Sh Today, the PS5 is hot as fuck. No. I mean the PS5 is hot as fuck. What's up, I'm Rings, your one and only host for Ring Leaders Gaming. You already know what we here to do. We here to talk games. But before we do, remember that if you enjoy the content, like, comment, and subscribe. And with that out of the way, let's get to the topic of the day. PS5 is hot as fuck. Now I know y'all all remember the PS4. And you know how I know? Because y'all can't get a PS5. Anyway, that jet engine ass console was loud as fuck for last generation. Before the release of the PS5, Sony promised that they would have any heating issues squashed with the PS5, swearing that people would be pleased with the cooling solution, especially considering that the PS5 has variable rates, which means that the clock speeds could go up and they could go down. And if you're wondering what their solution for keeping the PS5 cool would be, they showed it in a teardown. It's basically liquid metal between the SOC and the big ass cooler that they put inside of this thing. Literally half of the PS5 is basically just a big heat sink. With that being said, there's news coming out of Gamers Nexus today. Apparently the PS5 does suffer from overheating, but just in one key area. To do their testing, they pretty much implemented probes all across the PS5 so that they could track the heat coming from all of the important areas. They even went as far as removing the panels on the PS5 to see if that affected its cooling abilities. And if it did, by how much? The test results were actually pretty pleasing. It seems the PS5 was actually able to stay cool even at max load, running at a chilly 35 degrees Celsius. Removing one panel didn't really account for much of a, of a temperature drop all across the board, but removing both accounted for at least a five degree drop across the entire board of the PlayStation 5. With that being said, you might be asking me. Rings, rings. Well then what's with this clickbait ass thumbnail and this clickbait ass title? And then I might say to you, hold your horses there, partner because there is overheating. Like I said, just in one specific area, the memory modules around the GPU. The hottest memory module they've measured was apparently running close to 95 degrees Celsius, which is uncomfortably hot. Now that temperature they pulled was actually from the case, which means that it's a possibility maybe the case was hot and not the actual module, but it's also possible that the module was just running that hot because it really had no efficient way to cool itself off. Because I think this was an issue in the PS4 as well. Now with them measuring on the casing, that isn't the best way to measure, but it's enough of a measurement for you to actually feel just a little bit uncomfortable with that heat level. Especially considering that the memory modules are some of the most important pieces of hardware inside of the device. Let's just hope that Sony can keep this heat under control because nobody wants their $500 console to die on them just after a couple of years. How do you guys feel about these temperatures? I mean, for the most part, they did say that the PS5 was running pretty cool. I asked because I mean, you know, with all of the bugs going on, which typically happens during a new generation. Does this add to your level of uncomfort? Are you worried about this overheating? Possibly becoming an issue? Leave me a comment down below. Anyway, if you wanna stay up to date with the latest news in gaming and gaming consoles and PC gaming, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe and hit that little notification bell too so that way you can be up to date with the latest. Anyway, peace rings out.